time. Uh, if any of y'all are interested in comedy, I know some of our stand-up comedians are. Uh, we have somebody from uh, the... We, if y'all don't know this, there's a group in town called LAFCO. We are an improvisational comedy group. Thank you. Thank you. Tell all your friends. We have our first show starting in September on September 1st. Uh, if you like comedy or improv, come and check us out. We do improv comedy. Uh, but uh, this year we are going to be host. Uh, we are going to be helping out with the Southeastern Comedy Arts Festival. And from the the comedy troupe in Tupelo, Woo! we have the lovely and talented Carlton Wall here. Woo! We're telling you a little bit about the event. Let's hear it for Carlton Wall. Woo! I love you, Carlton. <laughs> Thank you. And we're all here to drink and laugh, so I'm just going to make the announcement quick, but it's definitely awesome. It's uh, it's like the Olympics. It changes cities, and in no small part, thanks to Bruce and Lafco, North Mississippi is honored to host the CCAF Southeastern Conference Festival this year. It, this is big. Give a call of applause to this year. For those of us coming, though, it's the best deal in town. It's going to be like $5 for four to six hours of comedy. There are plenty of drinks and places to go if you don't want to sit through the whole thing. But for us, especially comedians, the, uh, and for the improv groups, for a team, it's $40. But for stand-up comedians, it's $10. I swear we're not trying to jip you. You get a free meal with that. You're going to get a, a video of your performance. I promise it's a friendly audience, so there'll be people laughing. You can send it in as a promo for auditions. If you Google improv, the closest thing that shows up is Birmingham. If you Google comedy in your iPhone right now, the thing that shows up is C, Hot Tunes, and Batesville. And then the next one is Real Six and Egg Crew. This is a joke. Uh, in addition to the, the workshops and uh, getting to perform in front of an audience, the masterminds of comedy and the great things going on in Oxford, we need to band together and figure out what we can do to put ourselves on the map because we're kicking ass. Go ahead and Facebook Oxford. What is it, Bruce? Oxford Comedy. Bruce. What should they Facebook? Oxford Comedy. That's it. That's it. Facebook Oxford Comedy. We'll put up a link to CCAP and that's it'll have everything you need to know. Thanks. <laughs> Carl Hall, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, our next, uh, our next performer. You've seen him up here before. He's always funny. Uh, always making fun of his name. Uh, I won't make fun of his name tonight because I love telescopes. Let's hear from the lovely and talented Hubble Stark, ladies and gentlemen. Hubble Stark. What's up, y'all? Nothing. All right, so the other day I was eating at this place and my friend came up with two salads and he was like, hey, should we eat these salads? And I was like, let us. <laughs> You, you, know that, you know that you're a grown-up because whenever you go to the grocery store, you only get the Supreme Pizza. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like cream corn is just like mad excited corn. <laughs> the other day I went and got some uh, marijuana. Dude was like, hey, this is the Dark Star, and I was like, why is it called that? And he was like, it's because it makes you breathe like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the dude, or I was telling my friend the other day that there's this dude? <laughs> I was, I was telling my friend the other day that I heard about this dude that died of homoerotic asphyxiation and he was like, don't you mean autoerotic asphyxiation? And I was like, nah, he choked on a dick. <laughs> so, uh, I was driving the other day back from uh, a state and... <laughs> And the person in front of me turned on their windshield wiper fluid. And you know when you're on the highway and everyone's going real fast that sometimes it can get back on your windshield. And then when that happens, you have to turn on your windshield wiper. And then like the person behind you gets their windshield messed up. 
<laughs> Sometimes I feel like people just someone's gotta stop that madness, you know. <laughs> so there's only one burning building that I would probably run into, and it's a grow house. So I was over at my friend's house the other day, and she was like, hey, should I go get some drinks or something? And I was like, yeah, but this chick, she never wears any shoes, and so I knew what kind of wine she was going to bring back. Uh. <laughs> she brought back barefoot. <laughs> Here, my friend talked about the turtles earlier, and it reminded me of when I was riding on my mountain bike the other day, there was this turtle that was in the middle of the trail and almost hit it. And man, I was gonna be fucking pissed because their shells were like real hard and stuff. <laughs> it might have messed up my bike or something, you know? <laughs> so I got this friend, he's real into Greek philosophy, it's like his life dig, you know? And, uh, but he acts strange, so when you ask him if he likes philosophy, he's like, the Greek philosophy, he's like, nah. And you're like, well, I, I thought you liked it. He's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, well, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So I was like, what is your favorite philosopher? And he was like, Hippocrates. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how many of you people do the sport of yoga out there, but I learned the other day that there are pants that are specifically designed for yoga. So like whenever I see these people in the street, I usually just point at them and I say, Poser. <laughs> you guys remember whatever you're in grade school and you go to lunch and everybody you playing those cool games with the quarters like basketball where you gotta flick it and then try to catch it with your thumbs and then dunk it in or you can play hockey or you take like the three quarters and you have to scoot the one in between it. But then you went down to like the side, the end of the table, and there was all the bad kids down there and they were playing bloody knuckles. And like, I like did it one day because I transferred to my grade school and my mom was like, hey, what'd you learn today? And I was like, don't sit down on the end of the table. <laughs> So, I, I generally tend to like almost everybody. I'm pretty, you know, like, cool with most people. But I met this English person the other day, and I'm not sure that I like English people anymore. <laughs> because I was playing in a video game arcade, and I was playing a fighting game, and he walked up and he was like, I'm gonna play you in this fighting game. And I was like, all right, cool, so we played and I beat him because I'm like real good at fighting games and stuff. <laughs> and he, was like, he, he called me a limey bastard because that's something they do. And I was like, man, I don't even resemble a fruit at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're always trying to put letters on words that don't need them. And so like, I heard this dude say, saw her? Like, I saw her in play. And I was like, no man, you saw that dude. And he was like, nah, I saw him. And I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> so once I got back into town and to Oxford, and I saw this one chick and she had and she had these init she had her initials on the back of the car and I was like, what the fuck do you need your initials on the back of your car for? Like, in case you like misplace your car? <laughs> Coming back, I came through Arkansas and I saw this huge billboard and it said, use the rod on your child and save their life. And then it had a uh, Bible verse like under it or something. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this blues musician and his, I think his name's Fats Waller. And I was like, man, that's like me. <laughs> So, uh, when I was out in Colorado, I started working back at my t-shirt job for a couple of days, preparing for my gas money, and then I realized why I had to come back and get my degree, it's because I worked with this dude named Tight Pants Tower, 
to stop the, the baby gap. And he smells like an old banana mixed with like gorilla dude or something. Like that. And you can always see old dudes butt <laughs> So the other night we were out at one of my friends' house and I just like it was a beautiful night out, so I decided to go and I was out looking around, I was looking up at the stars. Much like these coming. <laughs> and I was like off, and, you know, like I was off in the yard. And they must have been like, man, he's, he's thinking all deep, you know, he's looking up there, and like, what do you think he's thinking about? And I was really just like farting. <laughs> <laughs> Asked somebody the other day what their favorite color was, and they said blue and green, and I was like, well, what the fuck one is it? <laughs> She said, you know, weed is a gateway drug, and I was like, it's a gateway to a good time. <laughs> Woo! So somebody was like, hey, uh, when you do that comedy thing, what do you think of the crowd? And I was like, I don't know. And he was like, well, I mean, like, what do you think of when you're up there? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I just look at everybody, and I'm like, that's a bunch of udders out there, and I got to get that milk out of it. <laughs> favorite old dude thing. He was walking to the water taxi and you know when old people like need to be somewhere in a hurry but they're not that fast. They do that like half run thing and then they realize that they can't run anymore so they stop running and it goes like this. Just don't run anymore. <laughs> Face. All right, so the other day I was watching these people play, I don't know, some game or something, and this guy said, I hate triangles. I like two sides and, and flat stuff. I, I like rectangles. When I was in New York, I went to the East Village, and you know, like, this is, this is just weird, because usually when you see the cops down here, you're like, man, it's the cops. And then when we were up there in the East Village, we were like, fuck yeah, the cops. <laughs> I think that's it.